Hi, I'm Patrick Nugent with IICLE. Tremendous pleasure for me today and an honor to have two real, true Chicago legends in the media <laughs> world. And that is true. Uh, Joel Daly and John Drummond. Um, Joel and John are doing something for ICL, which is fantastic. They're helping us with a course, uh, uh, the Star of Rock Murder course, which is going to be in May this year, which is a continuing legal education course done by IICLE. Joel Basically. and John are going to act as uh, our expert panel uh, in media decisions and what went on in the media in those days in comparison to what goes on yeah. now. Right. John, why don't you talk to us a little bit about Weger, who he is, and, and uh, what, you, you want to describe the murder a little bit. We've turned the clock back about 50 years ago. Chester Weger was an ex-Marine. He was a dishwasher at the Starb Rock Lodge. Remember, Starb Rock was the, the crown jewel of the Illinois State Park System, the most beautiful one they got, I think, it's the, the one they had the most biggest pride and joy. Weger worked there and uh, as a handyman as well as a dishwasher. And what happened was in March of 1963, women from suburban Riverside, were prominently socially, went down for a little hiking. Got checked into the, the, the lodge on a Monday, went out for a hike and never returned. Well, to make a long story short, short that uh, their husbands got alarmed, got concerned, called the authorities, a search was made, and on Wednesday of that same week, they arrived on a Monday, their bodies were found in a place called St. Louis Canyon. Mm -hmm. It appeared they'd been not only robbed, but also may have been raped. It became a big, big story. Number one, because where it happened, Star Rock Park. Number two, who the women were. And also the fact it dragged on for eight months before someone was finally arrested. So it was a major story, not just locally, but Life Magazine, for example, which is really big in those days, came in covered on two occasions. And the news media from Chicago, particularly, they, they, they literally lived at the Star Rock Lodge for some time. And enjoyed it. And he did. Eight, eight they did. They took over, over the, the lodge that's right. and uh, enjoyed doing their, they would uh, get the local paper and some of the local reports, and they redo them for their papers, sure, that was which is a common thing, yeah, right. right? So it was a, so it was a fairly good gig. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> they brought Terrific. their wives and their families down. Many of them right. Right. can't beat that. Right. Well, you know, it's a fantastic, beautiful lodge. Yes. I think it was built by the uh, by the work project, WP, yeah, the work WPA, project right? Uh, in the 30s. And it was built, I yeah. think, portions of it were built right out of the limestone that comes from the actual canyon lands and the cliffs there. So it's a it's a gorgeous uh, place. I understand these women. Then they were they were uh, they were naturalists to some degree. They were they, they had come out before into this area and walked in this area before. They enjoyed hiking, yeah, hiking. and uh, nature and looking at flowers. And in the middle of the winter, in March as it was, uh, wasn't a whole lot of that. But it was a beautiful area. There's this frozen waterfall in St. Louis Canyon. That's a, a highlight of that trail that leads down from the rocks. And that, that's at that area where they were attacked. I know? think St. Louis County is probably, it's safe to say, the prime location in Star Rock Park. I think it is. It, most, most tourists want to see that, other than maybe the rock itself where the Indians were. But right. uh, St. Louis Canyon is, is beautiful. beautiful. It's actually quite accessible, too. Yes, I mean, it was, I, I, I actually have taken the walk that the ladies took from the lodge itself. and, and um, the terrain is not too steep or too difficult. It's beautiful going down into the canyon. It's probably, I would say, a mile or a mile and a half maybe from the lodge. But actually, when we do this course, one of the things that we're going to do is we are going to invite families to come and, and, and uh, we're going to do a walk in the morning from the parking lot across uh, the, the state park from where we're doing, we're doing the course over at the uh, Grizzly Lodge. So it's only about a half a mile walk into St. Louis Canyon from there. 